All right, welcome back to Driveway Party. So this week we're going to be back on the jet boat. I'm going to get this thing uncovered. Last jet boat episode, when I took it down to the river to run it for the first time in water, uh, I had a couple of issues. The starter was starting to go out. There was a couple of leaks. I definitely fixed two or three of them. There, there was only three. So I'm hoping two of them are, are at least fixed. It'll be good enough to take out on the water for the first time. And uh, another YouTuber, Chris Farms, who has a jet boat, pretty cool uh, channel if you're into that. Uh, he recommended I uh, do something about how close the exhaust is to the fiberglass. So that exhaust is kind of temporary. So for now, I'm just going to wrap it. He had a pretty good point. Uh, Jeff Pate also recommended I do that. So I want to change the starter, hook up an alternator, fix some leaks, and wrap the exhaust, and uh, Maybe get some seats in it and take it back to the water. So we'll see if I can get enough of that stuff done and uh, the thing will be ripping in no time. So hold on tight. All right, so first things first, can't take the boat out if the boat doesn't start. So I took out the old starter, Krusty Rusty. This is the one that came with the engine. And here's my new one, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that thing in. I should also show you that last night I put the carpet and the seats in with Sandra. It looks a million times better. Super happy about how it came out. So I'm going to put the starter in. Uh, also, I started hooking the alternator up. Kind of all over the place, getting sidetracked. So I have the belt here, ICT billet bracket. I have to wire the alternator. I'm gonna need a resistor to control the charging. So let me start with the starter first, get that done. I hooked up the throttle cable the other day. That's working now. It's gonna be on the water in no time. All right, so this is the LS truck alternator, uh, electrical connector. So normally the engine computer, the factory one from GM will control the alternator but if you're using an aftermarket computer, you can just use a 470 ohm resistor and all you need is this brown wire. These two other wires aren't needed. So you just want to crimp in one of these resistors in line and then it goes to ignition signal. You don't want it in all the time just for when the ignition's on. Otherwise it'll drain your battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and install one resistor and the main power wire on the alternator and maybe we can fire up the jet boat and test it and make sure it's charging all right so look i wired up the alternator I'll test it it's kind of close the exhaust is kind of close to the alternator so i wrapped it there and where it gets real close to the fiberglass i just i added i need to trim this clamp back a little bit but that was one of my water leaks right there. What else did I do? The new starter's in. Let's see if we can fire this thing up. There's the fuel pump. That's it. We are charging at 14.1. Very good. I still have to mount the Holly computer somewhere and see if I have an extension for the screen to put up here and uh, maybe mount these seats. But overall, I'm pretty excited. It's a good day. I can't wait to have this thing on the water. Sandra's got her garden over here. <laughs>
There we go. Should pretty much be able to pull the trailer out. Okay. Every single time I try to start this. <laughs> I can't even <laughs>
definitely has a misfire. Yeah, it's making a little noise. Well, look at the color of the exhaust. Oh, wow. One side is doing all oh, the Oh, and that side's steaming. Yeah, it's just in the water. Ugh. Woo, we made it. What is what is your first impression of the jet boat? Fun, fast. I is it fast? Do you think that was fast? I thought it was a little fast when you took one of the corners, but that's about it. Well, I was trying to stay on plane, and it was a. It's where the two rivers come together, it's so fine. it's a sharp it's just curve. My first time with you, so, I'm, you know. so I definitely have a misfire. This bank, I think, is running, and I think the other side is. I don't think I have uh, any cylinders working over there. So, definitely need to figure that out. You said you saw 3,400 RPMs? 3,400. Okay, so we need some more powers. I want to get up to 6,000. Sweet. Let's see if this side boils. Ooh, that's hot. I'll check this side. Cool, I want to get some eggs. Huh? So we do have cylinders running on that side. No, it's no, just... It was steaming when we stopped. I wonder, uh, I guess we're going to have to get the temp gun and see which which side is not working. Because it's running a little rough. Maybe I can do a data log. Cool. Wow. Excited. This is the first time this boat's been taken out since probably the 90s. I never took my, my red tag off. 1988. Looks good down here. Sweet. So here's where things start to go downhill a little bit. Uh, I was having trouble keeping the engine running. It would fire for about a second and then it would stall. Come to find out the throttle cable came undone from the throttle body. So here's the clip where we basically just hightail it straight back to the trailer because I wasn't really in the mood to deal with these issues. I realized I didn't have a paddle or any tools, so I just hightailed it straight back to the trailer and loaded it up.
All right, we got the boat loaded up. Still have a few leaks to sort out. Uh, the alternator was charging, that's good. So this throttle cable got disconnected and I also noticed it's not going full throttle. So we're only getting 3,400 RPMs. So to get past that, we need to uh, add more power. So it seems like it's not quite running right. I need to go over some of the logs from today and check the tune and figure out a uh, throttle cable setup so we get more uh, throttle pedal out of it. It's probably only half throttle. So, I don't know. Maybe we can get 5,000 RPMs. I'm not sure. So, for now, that's going to do it for this week. Super excited to see the boat in the water. That was fun. I'll have to keep adding power until this thing is maxed out. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next weekend. Driveway party.